if we could get everybody on the planet to contribute to information and access information, rather than just us, a couple of billion people who think we know stuff, involve all the rest of the people in the world. And then you might get someone jumping up from a bush in Kenya and curing cancer and someone else jumping up from somewhere else and fixing the financial system. Unless we, us two billion, think we're smarter than the other, whatever, six billion or something, then, you know, we should include everyone. So really the, the whole point was if we are moving forward as a society, we need to be able to move forward collectively. And I think over the past few years it's been really interesting watching the internet develop because we've got all these financial systems, we've got politicians going crazy, we've got spies spying on us. One thing that's great when you share data and share access to information is it's very hard to tell lies, it's very hard to hide behind a truth. So it it just becomes more and more poignant as we, as we go along. But it's been a really, really difficult journey uh, because Almost everything that, that we've done, the MadeSafe's done, the self-authentication, the networking side of things, or how you encrypt data in such a way that it can deduplicate uh, properly and securely, almost everything we've been told, that's impossible, that's impossible, that's impossible. I think from day one, from the very second that we started, it was privacy, security, and freedom for all the world's people, for all of the data in the world. And Selfishly, I would love to live forever, so I'd like someone to come up with some way to make people live forever, you know, that they, we're never going to achieve anything unless we include everyone. That's really why MadeSafe was started, it was, it was all, all about privacy, security and freedom. And the idea that your data is like your thought in your brain, it's yours. When you speak it, then you're sharing it, that's fantastic, but you don't want to you don't want to speak every single thought. You, you need to be able to have privacy inside your own head. And when you look at it now, um, the likes of Google or Amazon or these people, they're holding some of your memories and some of your thoughts and calculations. There's no need for that. Those things can be held on the network, on the internet, without ownership moving from the person who has those thoughts or has that data.